So well, my name is Wallowit Tungum Lungpan from the Payatai Pohonyotin Hospital. It's certainly an honor to be here with you all. Okay, my topic today is the principle of treatment, OCD of the elbow. So I have no disclosure. First, we start with the case. This is a healthy 15, 15 years old male, high school athlete. He likes to play every sport, such as football, basketball, and badminton. He is light handed. He had light lateral elbow pain for about two years. His light elbows have, uh, continue, have continue to have pain and the limit, limit to the overhead activity that will improve after less. It's then continue to have the elbow pain off and on. He sent with the acute worsening of pain of the elbow two weeks. Why he played badminton? He got the swelling and the lack of full attention on his light elbow. On exam, tenderness and swelling over the anconeal area. He got limited uh, lunar motion, 40 to 130 friction and extension, and full pronation and supination. He had the capitals about the lady or capitular joint and also the positive of the lady, lady or capitular chiatis and, and the distal neurovascular intact. So this is the initial X-ray that, that on AP and the lateral view. On AP, you can see the, the large Fattening capitular lesion with the focal defect of the, artic of the articular cartilage. At the lateral view, it's not particularly helpful. So we did the S1 imaging, this is the CT scan. There's a large arteriocondyl defect at the capitulum. We can see the large fragment in the middle top. You can see the large fragment dispersed a little bit to the posterior and also see the, the multiple arches fragment within the lesion as well. Okay, we did the 3D CT imaging. You can see that the lesion that involved to the, the art articular cartilage of the capitulum. So this is the MRI scan. You can see the in signal allow this fragment with the un unstable fragment and also see the art articular cartilage disrupted and and uh, you can see uh, the the display of the osteochondral body from the sagittal view so the diagnosis of this case i think that this is the ocd of the capitulum of the light elbow this every image on, on that slide All right, so we now let's talk a bit, a, a little bit for the surgical pen in this case. The surgical pen in this case, I, I plan to do the arthroscopic debitement and the microfracture and, and then the loose body removal. So entire operative show those loose body. At that time, I did the arthroscopic debitement remove all the loose body and the microfracture at the capitulum area. Put of um, digit sling for two weeks and gradually land a motion um, and strengthening started after three months after the surgery. So this is the five months after he came back to see me, he's doing well. No pain, the full line of motion of the elbow. So we did the MRI at five months. This is the P and post of the MRI. You can see some flattening of the articular cut, um, artic articular surface. And you can see the contour of the capitulum is markedly improved after the surgery. That look more fulfilled with a substitute density at the defect that, that we, we, the defect in, in, in the previously. It's not normal. He still got some, uh, cystic chain under the arteriocondyl lesion. So we will talk about the treatment option of the OCD of the elbow. 
This is the review the article from uh, Blockly 2019, the treatment algorithm based on the current best evidence. For the OCD lesion of the carpetonum, the first phase, the, the first question, we ask, it is stable? Sorry. Oof. It is stable or unstable? If it's stable, we prefer to consider to do the conservatively. Non-operatively is uh, would be like a, a less for four to six weeks and continue to the rehabilitation. If they do have the clinical improvement and radiographic evidence of healing, then we initially return to spot. Otherwise, if not, we may consider to dealing. For unstable lesion that were considered to do the surgery, if it's small side and safe location, safe location that means the lateral budget of the bone that intact, we consider to do the microfracture and uh, debitment. So in the last side of our, our unstable lesion, if, if, um, if the lack is the fixable fragment, we, need to, we, we prefer to do fixation. If not, we prefer to do the restorative procedure like autocap or autocap. So, uh, this is the current evidence about the auto condo auto calf and auto calf. This is the systematic review from uh, 2020 the evaluation the outcome and complication of the uh, auto condo auto calf transfer in more than 400, 400 athletes with the OCD. All surgery produced the good outcome and lower the complication rate and high rate of return to competitive pay. Another study systematic review to determine the rate of the donor side mobility. The report that the donor side mobility is about 7.8% and knee pain during the activity is 7%. Another study that reviewed by Andrew 2016 to Evaluation the long term outcome of the allocaf, um, including to 291 patients. <clears throat> Overall, they demonstrated a significant improvement in the clinical outcome score and good durability with a successful outcome 75% and long term follow up 12.3 years. It's amazing. So, this is the study. The case theory from the LAFI. So they did the, the operation OCD capitulum were treated with the allocap in nine baseball players, four year follow up. There, there are the improvement of the elbow function and all athletes return to play the baseball. Currently, this is the current concept compared the autoconal autocalf, autocalf and autoconal autocalf. There are pro and con to use this both procedure. For the first one, the autocondo autocap the chief and save knowledge for the immunogenicity, high, high level of the gap corporation, or remain an effective method for, for the small region. And there are the report donor side mobility. The second one is Allocap transplantation is, is high cost because it's not covered from, uh, by the mode of insulin and high cost of the allocap itself. There are the list of 
immune reaction and risk of disease transmission, o OCA have shown a positive outcome in the lag lesion. And obviously, that advantage that over autocap that by remove the lead of the donor side mobility. So the take home message, making the diagnosis is so important. You need to know the, the patient presentation, history, perform the physical examination, examination and imaging. In the, you need to know the factor, multiple factor determine of treatment. The lesion is stable or unstable. The physeal is open or closed because there are the potential healing in the physeal is open. You need to know the size and location in where the bone or the cartilage or both. The fragmentation is fixable or not fixable to determine of the treatment of choice. And then the last word is the expectation. You, you can talk with your patient, her or his, her parent, the goal of treatment, make the best option of the treatment together. Thank you so much.